We have an exception handler class, uh, which is a controller advice, which contains uh, three different methods. One method to handle user service exception, a specific custom our own exception. Another method to handle null pointer exceptions only. And uh, one method that handles all other unhandled exceptions because it has the exception class as a value in the exception handler annotation. So our business logic inside of each method doesn't really change much. And this means that we can use one method to handle multiple exceptions. And if this is your case as well, you can combine two or more methods into one. Let's, for example, combine these two and make one method handle two exceptions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the user service exception class from this method, and then I will put it as a value into my handle null pointer exception after the comma like this. So if I want my method to handle more than one exception, I will need to use curly brackets and inside of the curly brackets, I can list more exception classes provided that I separate them with the comma. Now, I don't need this method anymore, so I'll delete this and I'm going to rename this method to something different. Handle, not null pointer exception, but handle specific exceptions like this. And now uh, this method as a method argument takes in null pointer exception. I will need to change it because I have more than one exceptions now. I will need to make it handle exception as well. So now let's keep the breakpoint here and we have a breakpoint here. Let's run this application in a debug mode and see which of these methods will trigger when we throw a user service exception. Okay, so I'll run it in a debug mode. I'll switch back to Postman and I will send this request. And we have a debugger breakpoint triggered. I'll click on yes to switch to a debug perspective. And I'll scroll down. This is our method that handles all other general exceptions. And this is our method that handles null pointer exceptions and user service exceptions as well. And as you can see, we have a breakpoint in this method, which confirms that it's working. So I can resume debugging, switch back to Spring, check the postman, we have uh, expected response and this is it. This is working now. You know how to handle uh, more than one exception in your controller advice class in the one single method, listing those exceptions in your exceptions handler annotation separated with the comma. Okay, so let's continue.